Does anyone know what happened in 1889 that made sound recording popular? You know, who know? Tell us, Mr. Audio. Edison's early audio recorders in the 1870s and 80s were being marketed to businesses as dictation machines and not selling particularly well. Then, in 1889, someone had a brilliant idea that changed everything. The idea was that sound recordings could be used for entertainment. Popular songs were recorded on Edison cylinders. Coin-operated photographs were then placed in arcades and they were wildly successful. Four years later, German-born American inventor Emil Berliner had a brilliant idea of his own. He reasoned that in mass-producing music, rather than a cylinder, it would be faster to use a flat rubber disc that could be stamped out in one operation. Working with machinist Eldridge Johnson, Berliner's Victor Talking Machine Company started producing music on 7-inch flat rubber discs. The company also produced the gramophone that later became the Victrola, the most popular record player of that era. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.